the new days of summer event for black ops 4 should honestly be changed to days of bummer because of how bad treyarch just screwed up this fucking game and it, it sucks so much because i hate having to make these videos every single damn update and i'm sorry for posting this one i truly truly am um and i really did thought about making this video for for hours today which is why i'm uploading this video so damn late because i did not want to make another hate video or rant video because it seems like every update i'm always making another one like I said um, but this time Treyarch just really messed the game up to where it's basically pay to win now at this point like Black Ops 4 is literally pay to win because they have made the new weapons in the game which I'm gonna list on screen right now this is also in the patch notes all of these weapons the stingray the peacekeeper the locust and the ballistic knife are all locked behind reserve drop so the game is it's not cosmetic anymore it's not just simply cosmetic it's literally pay to win now if you want the best guns in the game then well sorry the only way you can get them is by buying the new weapon bribes which i'll talk more about in a second here or by getting very 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 lucky by opening them in reserve drops because treyarch has also filled up the loot pool with a bunch of random bs like death effects weapon charms etc for every single weapon in the game and yeah very very <laughs> just disgusting business tactic when i saw this today i i seriously felt very frustrated because Treyarch and it was told to us early on in the season that there were not going to be weapons behind reserve drops and you know there, there weren't going to be supply drops in general but here we are a few months later there are weapons locked behind supply drops um so yeah now moving on to the weapon bribes guys um you are going to be able to get one once you hit tier 25 and speaking of which if you are looking to get one of these weapons unfortunately they're also mixed in with a bunch of mark ii weapon variants so um yeah you're, you're not just going to be able to get one of these new weapons by opening up the reserves you can have the chance to get a mark ii weapon for like the daemon for example and that automatically too just infuriated me even more it's like who is coming up with the with these business decisions because they should know damn well by now that the cod community is not going to take too kindly to, to decisions like this at least black ops pass owners should have been able to get maybe two or three weapon bribes you know throw some more incentives in there for the people who bought the battle pass or the black ops pass instead of making us regret every single day why do we drop money on this thing because it's literally worthless um you could have also given players you know access to all the guns in general for just owning the battle pass but no these people are just left out in the dust on top of having us spend 60 dollars on the regular base game instead and you expect us to buy micros and cod points at this point get the fuck out of here i'm done with buying cod points i'm done with buying supply drops i'll never even touch a single microtransaction in this game or any call of duty game for that matter until one the game becomes free to play which i doubt will ever happen or two you just change up your business model for supply drops because you're trying to suck the money you're trying to suck people's hard-earned money the fans dry and it's ridiculous instead of focusing on the actual core values and functions for the game so yeah I i'm very very upset guys and again i'm sorry for having to make another rant video but i feel even just speaking out about this stuff even making these types of videos posting on reddit and twitter it's not going to do anything because every time for every single update there's some bullshit that goes on there's something that goes wrong and we talk about it we voice our opinions and something worse happens in the next update so treyarch your activision you guys are not listening to the fans with this game you're simply not um and hopefully for modern warfare when that game comes out you you truly do look into changing your business models for micros because it's shitty point blank it's shitty and stuff needs to change i honestly probably would not even be as angry about this update if there were no duplicates at all and maybe in reserves you can get three items instead of one you know that's not asking too too much i feel 
But again, that's all just a wishful thinking because they know that if players truly, truly want the weapons, then they will buy COD points, thus making them even more money. If players want to have the cool stuff and be with the cool crowd, then they'll drop money on COD points. Now, there is one new weapon that players can get for free, which is the community challenge for the grab. And in order to get this weapon, you have to play a total of 15 million public matches in general. So this is this is going out to all the players that play Black Ops 4. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool. Even though we already have the grab in Blackout and in Zombies, whatever. At least we can get one weapon by playing. I love community challenges. That's great. Thumbs up to you guys there. I also love some of the other updates you've done, like making grind a return in multiplayer. And the blackout updates, those are pretty cool too. Contracts, hopefully we can get weapons by completing them. But knowing the trend Treyarch has been following and Activision, I do highly, highly doubt that. And I'm speaking up about this because I love the Call of Duty series. I truly, truly do. I bleed, I bleed Call of Duty. But stuff like this is literally killing the game. It's killing the Call of Duty series. These people who, who make these decisions, whoever you are, whether it's at Treyarch or Activision or both or all the studios, I, I'm not sure, whoever it is, you've been decept deceptive as fuck by not telling us that this shit was going to happen early on in the game. They didn't tell us that Black Ops Pass owners were not going to be getting hardly any cool incentives later on. It's honestly ridiculous. And this is not going out to the developers who, you know, spend hours and, and nights making this game for what it is. This is this video, this this rant video is not directed to you all. It's just whoever makes these decisions to put weapons behind reserve drops and all the other terrible, shitty business decisions that have been made this year. Um, again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making another rant video. I hate doing this every single update, but I feel that we have to speak out about this. But then I also think at the same time, am I just preaching to the choir? Am I just saying this stuff until I'm blue in the face? Because change has not happened for Black Ops 4. And they should know how vocal fans have been about this stuff, but they're still not listening. And I don't know what it could take. I've already stopped buying COD points. I'm sure a lot of other people have. Maybe it's not close to um, the amount to make a big difference. Um, I'm honestly just lost. I don't know what to think. I don't know what I should be doing right now to, to, to make a difference about this stuff. With what little fan base I have, with what little audience I do have, I'm going to try my hardest to speak out about this and voice my... Uh, thoughts about this because it, it truly is a scam what Treyarch or Activision whoever makes these these decisions whoever is doing this it, it, it is a scam and I, I want to let people know about this with whatever little audience that I that I do have in case you don't know um, but I just wish I could do something more I truly truly do um, but that's where I stand guys please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments um, drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. If you agree, leave a like. If you disagree, leave a dislike and tell me why, please. I really would like to talk about this with you guys in the comment section below. And yeah, thanks for watching. I love y'all. Till next time. Bye.